Jo. All right, friends. All right, we're here. We're live. We're ready to do this D&D thing. Now, guys, if you don't know who we are, we're Poke Your Eyes Out Games. Uh, this is our second episode of Poke Your Dice Out Games, wherein we play the D&D. &D. Hey, everybody! Hi! Now, due to the nature of this game, we will be paying attention to each other more than we will be in chat. Normally, we're very chat-heavy, but we are going to be worrying about the game, because that's how to play. Again, my name is Edward Flabber Jackson. I'm Lola Klutz. And these guys around us are Moid O'Clock. Why don't you say hello? Hey, Tell some people hey, what yeah. kind of games you play. Uh, I play a lot of RPGs, open world games. Um, I love uh, the Elder Scrolls series and like Grand Theft Auto and stuff. And uh, other other RPG series, maybe just you know other things. Uh, playing that, like I actually got into farming sim recently, so oddly enough, I'm playing that too. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing. This year, all the Final Fantasies and Elder Scrolls for the first time playing all those old games. So, yeah, that's what I'm into right now. Awesome, awesome. Uh, we got Resorty here. How you doing, my fine friend Resorty? I'm doing well, thank you. I, I'm Resorty. Uh, I'm a variety streamer. I've only been streaming since about August or so. Um, so, I'm currently trying to catch up on all those games that people stream at some point in their career. <laughs> I didn't really play any video games at all for the past seven or eight years. Uh, so, now I have to catch up time. So, we're doing a lot of uh, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2. Uh, I've been playing Super Meat Boy today. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, you're always just something different every night of the week on the Resorty channel. Uh, stop by. Be good to see you. And then I suppose we have Morphos. Oh, hold on, hold on. Morphos, wake thee up. Roll to attack. Uh, so we got Morphos in here. Uh, he's 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 the guy that fell asleep. Uh, however, I think he just got his rest in. I don't think he's gonna be doing that for the rest of forever. <laughs> I, I just I just finished a nap just now. Uh, there you go. Uh, can you tell us uh, who you are and what kind of games do you play? I am uh, Morphos, and I play uh, a lot of different stuff. Uh, I, I try to change it up pretty often, but I, I am an avid player of uh, Heroes of the Storm at least once or twice a week uh, with Dr. Clark and Jada. So. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> well, uh, that's the crew. We're going to be getting into the game now. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got to level up, guys. You guys leveled up. Uh, I'm going to kind of be giving you guys some 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 extra levels as we play, you know. Just because I want to, I want to, I don't know, just keep it focused on the story more than uh, grinding for experience for the next level. So, um, now you guys got a couple of things. We've got, uh, we've got murder here, murder clock. You've got a D4 plus three on your health. So if you can roll a D4 um, in chat here, that's, uh, that'll be, it'll be over there on the upper left. Should be like a little polygonal symbol above the uh, question mark. Should be able to select that and pick D4. Right. Bam. Uh, bam. So that's going to be plus three. So you're going to add that on your character sheet um, with a plus three. So that's a, that's a you're six. you allow me to do that? Huh? You're going to allow me to do that? I can, I can let you do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can do it for you if you feel incapable. No, it's fine. I just have to find it. This looks different than the last time I have it, actually. When I go over to attributes and abilities, it's just a huge list. Cool. Like that before. <laughs> um, you can also pick one zero level spell to learn. I've already adjusted how many spells per day you can do. Mm -hmm. um, but you get to pick one zero level spell to do uh, if you want to add that onto your sheet as you're sitting there. That's going to be on page 192 on the on the PHB, if you got that open. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, and then you're also going to get three skill points to add to your skills. Ooh, nice. All right, all right. Um, I'm going to do... Awesome. I should have thought about this. <laughs> Morphos. Um, yes, you've sir. got uh, you've got to level up. You can level up. Uh, you get one feet because you're a fighter. You get one feet. Uh, I suggest cleave. Shouldn't I have two feet? You do, but you have an extra feet, if you know what I'm saying, in the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> I suggest uh, cleave uh, since that's what you're going for last time. That's right. What, what does that do again? Uh, cleave allows you, um, basically, if you were to down a foe, during your move, you would then get to attack the one next to it. So if you had a bunch of people around, you can do cleave. Now there's greater cleave, which allows you to keep doing that. But um, uh, for just the regular cleave, you get to do that once. Uh, you know, I see we go with that. <laughs> so you want to add that on your character sheet uh, under your feats. It should be 
Um, should be just there on the first page of your, your character sheet there. All right. You also get to roll a d10 plus three for your healths. Ooh. All right. Bam. Boosh. You rolled a nine. That's hot. So you got you got a nine there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah uh, that's not bad at all. And then resorty. Oh, you get to you also get two skills. So much stuff. You get two skills, bro. Uh, <laughs> no, I narrowed it down. So you only you all each only have like three things to do. Um, Mr. Resorty, you get to add to your health a one d six plus two. Okay, I can do it now. One d six plus two. Rolling it. Bam! Ooh, you've rolled a nat one. <laughs> you've rolled a nat one, um, and that's plus two. So you can, um, you, you're gonna, you're gonna have to keep that. So you're gonna have a weak, Sorry. weak health on that bard there. All right, just avoid the fights, sing my songs, well, and let the big boys. I think that's what it. you were gonna do anyway. So I think you're golden. Uh, um, probably so. Okay. Sound effects. Oh. Ah, yeah. I want to turn those off <laughs> before we get <laughs> explosions Yay, happening. Yay in the background. Yay. Um. There we go. So you also have a uh, plus nine on your skills. So you get to pick nine skills. Maximum rank you can have is five. Great, I'll do that. Thank you. Cool, cool. Uh, and then you also get to pick one zero level spell to learn and uh, three level one spells. Okay, I'm intending to do a uh, flare for my zero level. Do you have any suggestions for level ones? ODM my DM? Um, ODM my DM. That's on page um, one. Uh, 181. Let me look at it. Oh, look. It's almost as if I had it marked. <laughs> um, uh, level 1 spells. You know there's a lot of really great stuff here. Um, if you would like to do Charm Person, that one's really interesting. Uh, but that only works if you're not currently in battle. Um, okay. You know, if you were to actually punch this person, it, they'd be much likely to just say, no, you're not, no, you're crazy. <laughs> okay. Um, Grease is um. really cool. If you wanted to make it difficult and like hamper the enemies to attack your friends, um, you could do. Uh, there's summon monster here. Should you desire that? And if you okay. were the kind of person that wanted to comprehend languages, that's also an option in your bard spells. Those are all very it's useful, I'd say. Sure. So it's an extra planar uh, creature. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? What that might mean in this yes. context? Yes. Um, extra planar often means from another plane of existence. Obviously, um, commonly in D in D and D, it's often demons or like some sort of um, like under hellion type creature being. Um, I could probably look up in the Monster Man exactly no, all okay. the creatures. It's okay. I'll be avoiding that a little bit too much on the the side of evil and problematic. Mm. Uh, Ripping of time and space. No, thank you. I'll get it figured out. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sure. Um, but there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, mostly utility spells uh, for the bard. Uh, clearly, if you can find a use for it, I can find a way to make it useful for you. <laughs> so I want to. I want to get really big and scary. I want to. I want to up my intimidate. Um, you can do that. Uh, you. You have. Uh, what was it? Two on your skills. As long you can yeah. upgrade your uh, intimidation rank to at least five, you can't go more than five because you're level two. It's okay, always... well, I don't have I don't have anything in it right now, so I click I, I like I add it right. Yeah, so you can you could just put both of them, slam down in there. Um, in the final column there. Yeah, let me see. Put do do do. I'm gonna open up your sheet. You said I had nine skill points, right? Uh, no, that's actually Rizordi. You murder have three. Oh, oh, I thought it was three hit points. No, you have D4 plus three hit points, which you rolled a three, so you had six hit points. Oh, okay. So I'm going to add six hit points, three skill points. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay so I'm looking at your thing. Backwards. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, intimidation, you have no ranks there. Um, you're going to be putting it in the third slot of intimidation on the character sheet here. So let me find that for you, and I'll just take care of it. Bam done okay that's wow cool. look at that crazy crazy i edited like your character magic. sheet okay so uh, all of that uh, my friends has happened um you guys have a few things to consider um i'm just gonna talk about what happened last time you guys game for that sounds good
Sounds good. Okay, so what happened last time is uh, the group sort of found themselves in the good small town Brazen, a young town just budding uh, and taking taking their camp town and turning it into an actual more like wood board house and uh, wooden shops instead of just a tent place. Uh, tent marketplace kind of zone. So sort of like in that sort of weird transition there uh, you guys found yourself there and um, You all met up at the inn. Uh, I believe Peter the knave sung some beautiful songs outside um, <laughs> We've got uh, Miani uh, who found some some jobs went inside found a sorcerer to uh, talk to about jobs and then decided to go for the rats um, uh, Morpho stole a poor man's sandal um, who had planned to have a give a really fascinating and interesting job But you guys decided you didn't want that you wanted to kill a whole bunch of rats. So down into the cellar of the inn um, You went and you tried to kill rats. Uh, it was a difficult matter. Uh, there was some smashing there was some singing there was uh, some falling over um, and eventually you guys poisoned the rats uh, in some fashion and then bolted the heck out of town for that more interesting quest um, you guys found yourself uh, on the outskirts of where you wanted to go after a nice camped night You guys felt refreshed and healthy ready to go um, and you guys are headed sort of uh, upward in the path up north um, To go explore uh, does that sound about right? Yep, I like it. Yeah, good summary Does anyone have anything else they wanted to add to recall? Did you dish out the gold at the camp? Um, the dish out the gold. You are gonna find gold. I like to give gold uh, naturally. No, I, my gold that I stole. <laughs> Your gold you stole? I, I three tricked. three golds for everyone? I actually think it did. Yes. I gave it to everybody, remember? Yeah, three golds for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> the paladin has no idea of your underhanded gold acquiring methods. <laughs> uh, well, she took it, right? So, <laughs> so there you go. There's no problem I gave there. gold to everybody. Yeah, even the, yep, everybody I think, I think uh, she just... The, I think the paladin just didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you guys are you guys are up there and uh, last we were gonna have a, a bit of an encounter um, And you guys had just learned about some of the surrounding local uh, Stuff there was apparently a battle uh, with an Eisenwolf uh, an old old family um, Back in the way in fact Eisenwolf is the same family name of the person who gave you the quest That you're currently on mm. And we know that, correct? I believe I had a successful um, yeah, you, you knowledge were, check, right? You were indeed aware of that, yeah. Nice. Indeed. So, um, yeah, you guys had found yourselves uh, up there, going up, up across the path, uh, and you had noticed um, just a little bit too late that there was an arrow on one side of the path and some things moving around on the opposite side of the path. I believe oh, yeah. I, I noticed that, and I had whispered it to my fellows. I had said, look over there, boys, or something like that. I don't recall <laughs> exactly, but... Uh, you did say something of that nature. Indeed. Yeah, that's about the point we ended. Uh, that was about the point we ended, yes. So, uh, I believe... Well, let me see. I'm going to put you guys... You all should be looking at this page. Skaboof. Uh You guys all look at this page, yeah? Which yeah, uh, has, like, are. some foresty stuff, Very gravel impressive. path, that kind of thing. Yep. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um, let me make sure that we get your tokens in here. Let's see. Where are your tokens? There we go. There we go. That's where all you all. Bam. Perfect. Okay. So, I mean, you guys are pretty small on this map. Uh, you guys were sort of headed your way uh, this way. I don't think uh, I set it up so you guys could move these. Hold on. Let me see. Do, do. Isn't there a button that you can use? A button? What put, kind of button? Put players here. There is. It just doesn't put your actual... Oh, okay. Just puts what you're looking at here. <laughs> All right. So um, we got uh, to do. You guys should be able to move your stuff in a moment. Oh, and yeah. There we go. There you go. There you go. What do the uh, colors mean? What the colors? Uh, yeah. I haven't set them up to mean anything, but you can. You could you could fill in your health in there if you really wanted to. Who am I missing? Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Miami. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So you guys should be able to move your your people. Um, you guys should be uh right about 
Right about here, you should see a ping on the map. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's about where you guys should be. All right. Do, do, do. Let me get this up. So, you guys should be over there, uh, and you should have noticed the thing. Now, I'll give you guys one quick more chance to, uh, to be more aware of what's happening around you. Um, so, Peter the Knave was the one person that noticed the uh, moving on the ridge. You had said something along the lines of, Hey, guys, what ho? My name's Resorty. Actually, Peter uh, the Knave. That's right. My name is Peter the, Peter the Knave? <laughs> that's what I meant to say. Because I'm Beautiful a good DM. Fashion. Beautiful. Uh, so, yeah, if you wanted to warn people of the upcoming, uh, now would be the moment. I mean, yes. What ho, fellows? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually, I believe it last time, I pointed quietly and said, Look, I think we saw a broken arrow shaft or something like that. And I pointed it out quietly to those who are nearby. <clears throat> oh, you are. <laughs> How'd you guys get in the wrong spots? Hold on. I'm Lola Klutz. <laughs> you are the most beautiful Lola Klutz. You are the most beautiful people. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, 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 wait. Do I get to be a bard? No, you don't. <laughs> get out of here with that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. Wow, that was like magical. You are now all in the right spots. Whoa! As if I did that uh, with some intent. Maybe. Believe I did it on purpose and maybe everything will be okay. All right. So, <laughs> um, where was I? So you guys saw uh, a very interesting thing. It's pretty small, probably on, on stream. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom up in here. We got this sort of look happening here. We got some foresty grounds, got some cool stuff. Um, now, I, I suppose that's not really the marching order you guys had. So let's throw down that marching order. Where are you guys? Uh, who's walking in front of who? Who's behind who? Move your peeps to where you believe you should be. Okay. Cargo lead. <laughs> Cargo <Cargo's laughs> leading. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I thought it'd be around here, but I don't know. Like me, me and Riz are kind of the Just same. Just like back there, hanging <laughs> out. <laughs> we're squishy, so we're kind of at the back. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> not, co not cowardice, just uh -oh. prudence. Really yeah. quick. Apparently, Twitch is down. Don't refresh. Apparently. Anyway, so there you guys are, my friends. Um, startled by an arrow. Some movement on the uh, the ridge over here. Um, and Resorte says, or Peter the Knave says, what? I say, look, friends, there. And he points at the ridge. You guys see uh, a see a dude. I, do I? I don't know. I, I'm bad at noticing things. Um. Yeah. Yeah. No. Wait. The broken. The broken arrow shaft. Right. That's on the opposite <laughs> side of the of the path. <laughs> see, I'm right. terrible at noticing things. <laughs> I, I get it again. Uh, put, put, like not grabbing his shoulders, but just showing like very firmly. Oh. That direction. Oh, oh, on the hill. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, now you all would uh, would be noticing the individual here, sort of okay. spoopy man that I've enlarging and shrinking over here. Um, that guy. Can I do anything more to look at him more closely? Maybe identify what he is. Um, you can. I, uh, if you guys were downwind of this guy, you'd identify him by smell alone. Uh, you can see that this uh, is most definitely um, a man of your travels would know as the bugbear. For sure. Bugbear. Okay. A bugbear, yes. Um, sort of a hobgoblin, uh, humanoid creature. Very loot driven individuals. Unlike me, I'm hurdy gurdy driven. Yes, you are hurdy gurdy driven, which is your Not chosen bardlicious instrument of choice. Okay, I'd like to indicate that my, my team. I'd like to say, uh, it's a bugbear. It's a bugbear. Look out. Oh, a bugbear. All right. Um,. I should know more about a bugbear. Okay, I got you. Wait, 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 wait. Why should I fear the bugbear exactly? Uh, <laughs> and almost as if by cue, the bugbear <laughs> looses an arrow at uh, oh. at Cargo. Cargo, what is your um? What's your AC? Oh, let me let me take a look. That's the wrong page. 
Uh, my AC is 16, sir. Ah, very, very <sighs> lucky indeed. You find, you've, you've caught an arrow. Um, <laughs> an arrow uh, looses from the bugbear and hits, uh, hits Cargol right in the uh, shoulder. I, I, ca- I thought you meant I caught it. I was like, oh. Yep, you sorry. caught it with your shoulder. It sucked. Oh, okay. uh, he will be taking three damages. Uh, let's do some, um, let's do some, 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 some initiative. Everybody roll initiative. I believe that is on your front, front sheet there. Um, if not, it's a d20 plus your dexterity modifier. 9.2. You have somehow rolled oh, 9.2. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I don't Wait, forget where, you. Where is it on the front page, sir? Uh, it should be like um, on the on the front sheet of your character sheet. It's right oh, under okay. HP. Yeah, right oh, under the HP. Okay, character sheet. Okay. I clicked the little die. I don't know how I got 9.02. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got uh, 18. Sweet. I'm getting your attempting to use a roll command looking for the value of a selected token, but no tokens are selected. I had the same thing. Weird. Just roll a d20 uh, and add your Got it. modifier. Ah, okay, you have to, cool. You have to click your character. Click your little icon. Oh. That's very odd that you have to do that. <laughs> ah. Hey. Ooh. Ooh, what'd you get? Nice. Nice, okay. Um, so we've got, here we go, 18 from the lock, um, five from the riz, boom, and nine from the cargo. Cool. Awesome. And then, there we go. Perfect. Uh, so you guys will, uh, we'll start with Miani. Okay, I will draw my yeah. weapon. You'll draw your weapon? Yeah. Awesome. And I will... One, two, three, four. Walk here and search the hillside for more. Okay. You take a moment to peek around. Do a switch check. Okie dokie. Okay. Ah, right. Here. Boom boom. What right, you got? Ah, it. let's find it. I believe in you. Wait, there it is. There you go. Uh, search check two. Um, oh, I hit a net one on that one. Yeah, you did hit a net one. You walked up and uh, began searching oh, the hillside. Man. You were suddenly um, aware that you lost seeing the guy that was in front of you. Oh. Man. You you actually you like in the process of moving you were like okay wait my armor's on I'm okay all right my feet aren't hitting anything that is in the way you walked up to the to where you wanted at the edge of the path uh, and you begin searching it and everything just seemed like a blur in fact you were just looking so hard that nothing really um, sunk in as you were looking you, you found nothing in fact you have no idea where the guy is I lost him guys <laughs> where is he <laughs> right uh, now we've got the clock. Ah. The lock and clock. Hmm. Okay, so I can see this guy well from where I am. Yeah, I mean you can see him. You're about. Uh, let me see. Where's my little? Where's my little thingy here? Ah, sweet. So you're about uh, say 75 feet away. Okay. Hmm. I'm mean, like you can see him, but I mean he's he's a good distance away. Yeah. Hmm. Oh right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna close in. Uh, I'd like to kind of duck behind something just a bit, so I'm kind of covered. Okay, um, there is a giant dude holding an axe. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to hide behind the giant dude holding the axe. Cool, cool. (laughs) It's just sort of like peeking around him. All right, getting ready to do that. Cool, cool, cool. Um, All right, I'm good. I'm good. I feel better now. You feel better? Good. Draw my weapon. Draw my weapon. Hide behind the dude. You draw your weapon to hide behind the dude? I like it. Thank you very much. No, no problem, frail pale man. Frail okay. pale. <laughs> Thank um, God. So, uh, pretty much, uh, very quickly, Miani realizes it is actually very easy to find where the uh, the big nasty thing is, <laughs> because it charges directly at her. Oh no! And she's the closest, meatiest thing uh, in the front. <laughs> so he, he charges yeah. you, yeah. and um, he. Well, what's your AC? 
Give me your A. Give me your A. Give me your C. I want to like know. Character sheet will load, I'll tell ya. Ah, uh, that sounds good. <laughs> um, character sheet. Did you pop it out? There it is. Okay, what you got? What's your AC? 17. 17. Ooh, nice. Um, this guy uh, charges you and just swings so hard at you. Uh, you sort of like move to the side and the um, the, the axe that he's holding that he, he's apparently dropped the bow somewhere along his way. The axe that he swings at you uh, just glances off of your armor, sparks fling, um, and he looks pissed. The smell shortly arrives behind him. You can smell just rot and unwash Ew. that just hits you face with the lovely smells um and uh from the back uh we've got a guy coming up here and he um he runs right about to here he looks at oops he looks at uh at peter the knave here it's a guy right behind you there uh and he goes and like slobber comes out of his face and like he like he's just swinging a giant stick like in the air <laughs> and that's what he does <laughs> um now it is in fact um Cargill's turn okay so obviously i heard that dude behind me right oh yeah you totally heard the dude behind you yeah all right so i want to i want to spin around and i want to i want to charge him Okay. Okay, because he's obviously he's coming up on my squishies. I can't have that. He's coming up on your squishies. Yeah, and uh, I can't have that. So I want to charge it while screaming and simultaneously yanking the arrow from my shoulder with my teeth. <laughs> just like you just want to <laughs> amplify that. All right, cool. I can roll with that. All right. Um. So, uh, Locke, are you contesting his movement in any way? No, not at all. No, not at all. Because, I mean, technically you count as a friendly person, and so you wouldn't impede his... You wouldn't try to stop no. his charge in case... No. Okay, just wanted to make sure. You know, maybe you wanted to be I'm in the way. Him go right in there. No reasoning at this point. I'm not going <laughs> to attempt it. Go all get right. him, buddy. So he runs in there. Uh, you're going to get... You're going to go plus two on uh, the charge there. So you're going to run after him. Um, you just sort of rip out the, uh, the arrow out of your shoulder. Um... You got your axes ready to go. Let's see what happens. Um, I need you to roll uh, your attack. All right. I'm trying to remember which. Uh, there it is. There it okay, is. Am I, do I, can I hit with both or am I hitting with one and then the other? Um, well, because you're one? charging, you can only hit with one. It takes a full okay. attack for you to, to go both. And the okay. one has those huge minuses. All right. Let's... Uh... <clears throat> Did that work properly? Uh, oh yeah, there you go. You hit uh, AC 19 for 7 damages. Nice! So uh, you definitely strike the bugbear uh, with your axe. Um, it hits him, gouging deep, uh, cut across the chest, uh, and he seems less than happy about this entire situation. Um, and he roars at you, stink hitting your face, but I'm sure you might not have noticed uh, it almost doesn't overpower the smell of your alcohol-soaked sandal uh, that happens to be adorning your chest. Um, <clears throat> so, like, uh, y you got him with a good good hit there. So that poor guy is hit for, what is it, seven? Nice. After he roars at me, can I just roar back at him? No, oh, you can't hit him again. You have to wait until your next turn. But, yeah, you no, can I roar just, back. I just want to roar at him. I am. <laughs> <laughs> so they're over there, like, blang at each other. Blah! <laughs> Um, you guys almost believe that they're actually having a conversation. Um, <laughs> uh, you might even believe or feel the inspiration for a song. Uh, because, well, it's the bard's turn. What's up, Peter and the Knave? Oh my, alright. So, am I allowed to both move and then sing, or must I remain stationary for to sing? Um, I believe as long as your movement isn't being contested, you should be able to concentrate, move in and walk, and you're a bard, you're a man who's done this many a times. Singing almost is automatic without, unless there's... A trouble with it so yeah go for it you can you can move and sing 
Uh, so I tend to move, first of all, uh, over here by lock, just to be a little bit less engaged with what's going on with those two noisy folks over there. <laughs> and I'm going to sing to inspire my fellows. Do I need to roll for perform on that? Um, no, no. Uh, this is a sort of a magical ability. Um, you're not trying to sing to gain money or impress people. This is just something that sort of um, rolls out of your hurdy-gurdy as you twist your crank and uh, the notes drone on. Um, you guys begin, it starts It starts uh, soft and then grows quickly. Uh, you guys feel so inspired that you will have no idea, but you add plus one to all the things that you're trying to do. <laughs> I don't think it increases.